Driverless deliveries are on the move all over Houston. They're delivering groceries for Kroger and snacks to students at U of H. And now the autonomous vehicles are preparing to cruise the streets of Houston, delivering pharmacy prescriptions for CVS customers. Here's Roseanne Aragon. The CVS in Bel Air will be the first to offer these services. All customers have to do is use their phone or computer. We first showed you these self-driving vehicles when two robotics engineers introduced the Neuropilot program to Houston, delivering groceries to people so that they'd never have to leave their home. Now the company's adding prescription deliveries to its services too, starting with this CVS on Bissonette in Bel Air running your errand so that you don't have to. And shoppers here couldn't be happier. It's a good idea. It's great. <laughs> I think that's awesome. The pilot program will serve customers at these three zip codes from this CVS. If you live there, you'd have to order your prescription using the CVS pharmacy app or at CVS.com and choose the autonomous delivery option. While all pilot programs start with deliveries by their equally cool autonomous Prius cars, eventually this little R2 vehicle will make its debut and deliver the prescription within three hours. Well, there's a lot of people that don't want to get out right now because of the COVID. There's a lot of elderly people that can't get out and it's just a convenience that would be nice for them. Contactless delivery is more important today than it's ever been. And so having our vehicle do this uh, allows for people to to be able to get those uh, those medications that they need um, really safely and securely. You can even order other non-prescription items with it. Easy, you don't have to drive. The pilot program hasn't started quite yet, but these customers say they're ready. I think it's wonderful, and the fact that they're utilizing it in this way is really good. Now, Neuro and CVS are working on starting this service here this month. We will keep you updated on air and online. For now, from Bel Air, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.